Hi, I'm Steve Solomon and you're watching Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. So we're here with 400 metre runner Steve Solomon and he's made the trip over from the States. Mate, great to uh, have you here in the UK. You must be thrilled to be here at the Com Games. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it's been a great year so far and hopefully the Com Games can continue. Now, uh, you've had a taste of uh, Olympic final action. You must be really hungry to uh, really push your luck and, and, so, and see how you can go here on the Commonwealth Games stage. Oh, definitely. Look, I think the uh, Commonwealth field this year is going to be super, super hot. And I'm really looking forward to, to putting my best foot forward and seeing what success I can share in Glasgow. And uh, you've, you've been a part of an important part of the Australian 4x4 relay team as well. I mean, you must be thrilled to be able to have a, another crack at that as well. Yeah, look, the, uh, we're really feeling confident amongst the boys. Johnny, Johnny Steph's taken a great leadership role. and He doesn't mind feeling confident? No, but he's, re he's really putting a good mood and a good vibe around everyone. And, you know, we're really excited to come together as a quartet and see what we can do. So we're here at uh, Gates Head, we're looking across at Newcastle. It's pretty handy that the uh, organisers have put a Sydney Harbour Bridge replica out here for you, mate. Make you feel at home. Absolutely fantastic. You know, I'm privileged to, uh, to grow up in Vaucluse and my dad loves the view. So, Father, if you're watching, uh, we're a bit closer to the bridge here, so I don't know what you're going to do about that when you come over. But no, it's been really good. Gates Head's been a fantastic uh, hos hospitality area and you're having a lot of fun here. There you are, Mr. Solo. Look at the things that we, uh, we do for you. Now, mate, uh, Solomon... Not much involvement with Scotland there, I don't think, but uh, tell us, what's your favourite Scottish uh, food that you're looking to forward to tasting when you get up there to Glasgow? Look, to be honest, I'm not too well versed in my uh, Scottish cuisine, but... Well, I can narrow it down to two options, and I want to hear what you'd pick and why. Okay. And your two options are haggis or a deep-fried Mars bar. Oh, see, I'm a chocolate, chocolate addict, so the deep-fried Mars bar is, is definitely going to get the win over the haggis. Well, if you uh, come out... Get yourself a medal, especially a gold medal. We'll uh, we'll personally shout you a deep fried Mars bar. How's that sound? Uh, I think the NCAA rules would probably have their way with that one, but <laughs> but you know what? Uh, they blacklisted. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'll definitely come for a Mars bar if we if we land up with something around my neck. Fried or, or fried or not. All right, mate. Well, last thing you got to do for us. So I want to see what you like uh, throwing the old uh, Scottish hat on there. Absolutely Looking good, mate. Good. Would you consider yeah. maybe wearing that in say the heats or the semis? Look, uh, probably not for this championships. But, um, you know... Uh, Hi Hi Highland Games, they're big in the States, so maybe there. Yeah, look, maybe around the hotel. Maybe just maybe through some strides down the, down floor three or something like Good. that. No, it looks very fetching. And, uh, mate, all the very best. We can't wait to cheer you on. Excellent. Can't wait to have you guys there.